Welcome to uh, <clears throat> Unity 3D C Sharp. Um, this is Lesson 24. This is about internet game power. And I put this under the C Sharp uh, tutorial series because uh, I wanted all of you C Sharp uh, folks that have been watching the series to know about this because you can participate in this as well. Uh, what I've got here is I've got uh, that Unity has total HTML5 power, which is fantastic, regardless of the language that you're using, uh, whether it's C Sharp, JavaScript, or OOP. Uh, so you have right now, you can have Unity on your, on your client computer, but you can also uh, have Unity, let me get it over here. Um, but with the free version of Unity, you can also talk to the server. You can also talk to a remote server. And this gives you a tremendous amount of power when you have uh, your game out there to many, many different players. All their information can go to the server that, uh, that you control. And your cost to do this is actually less than $10 a month. There may be some initial setup fees, uh, which are uh, generally a lot cheaper than most outdated textbooks. But what you can do here is that from your computer, uh, if you have a remote server that, you, that you're that you subscribing to, uh, you can have a secure administrative link through what's called a cPanel, which is through a browser, that allows you to manipulate and put information on the remote server that can now go to everyone that has a copy of your game. And, and information between every copy of the game out there that people are playing of your game can also go back to the remote server. And using your computer, uh, through the cPanel, you can look and see uh, what your games are doing. Uh, for example, the other thing that you have access to, and this is, this, because, this is generally free with cPanels, is you can use the most powerful, uh, the world's most powerful database for free. You can use MySQL. There's other databases you can use, too, you can use as well. But this database is now located up on the server. So what's the advantage of having a database that you can, you can control and what have you? Well, you can have people register to play your game. Uh, you could have it so that people have to sign in to play your game. You could have it so that you could monetize your game and sell, sell different uh, advantages or sell different devices in the game that would help people in the game over the Internet. And this could be done automatically. You could have it so that people playing your game can chat with each other. And you don't have to pay any extra above the, the less than $10 a month to make this happen. Uh, the other thing that you can do is that here's what you need to know. You do need to know some technology. You need to know these things right here, which you can stop the video and read for yourself. You don't have to be an expert in any of these things. You just need a general knowledge of them. And in the series that I'll be doing, which is called Unity 3D, plus HTML. Uh, I'll be covering all this stuff that you need to know in order to do that. This will open a world of opportunities for you in terms of your game. Uh, and here's how I, uh, uh, this is what you need to have. You, can, uh, you know, and you can read this yourself. I don't have to read through this for you. You can stop the video, read it yourself. All the stuff that you have, that you need uh, is, uh, <clears throat> is free provided you have an account to a remote server. You have a host provider. You can get one uh, at um, that set up that, that my company set up just specifically for these tutorials at unity3dschools.com, unity3dschools.com. Okay. The other thing is, is that here's how I'll attempt to break up the tutorials. Now, this is obviously is subject to the change. I'll have overview tutorials. And you can read what those are on the left. I'll have beginner level tutorials, and you can read what those are in the, in the center. And then I'll have intermediate level tutorials, and you can stop the video and see and read what those are. Uh, and I'll have that as part of the Unity 3D plus HTML5 tutorial series. And then this is our tutorial site. All the tutorials will be organized. All the YouTube tutorials will be organized up at unity3dschools.com, which is the site I'll be using to organize all this information. 
So uh, that's it for, for this tutorial. I hope you found this somewhat helpful and um, I'll be seeing you in our new Unity 3D plus HTML5 series. Okay, thank you for watching.